Welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. Here we are, once again working on the motel and its environs. I finally got some bookcases made and finished out the rooms that still needed them. And the motel uh, pool is completely finished now. So we come up here onto the diving board, take a leap, and the pool lining is finished finally. So that's good. I appreciate that. That was uh, it was good fun whatnot, but kind of a pain to do. Now let's see. I want to put down some more slabs out here. And there was a suggestion in a recent comment that uh, I'm going to go with. And that was the idea of putting down a, uh, let's see, let's put it over here a little bit out of the way. Hmm. No, I'm not, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, now. Okay, yeah. Now, if I take that and I duck around here to my crafting table and do what I should have done before. And let's see. Make up some rails. Go ahead and set rail on top of that hopper. Bingo, we've got a barbecue grill. And I suppose if I were to put a power grill on there, it would have the uh, appearance of a lit barbecue. I don't know. I think maybe I need to get rid of the grass underneath it and put stone down there, and I'll take care of that later. Stone or perhaps double half slabs, so it'll have the right look. Anyway, go ahead and put this away before I inadvertently rail the whole place. All right, uh, let's see. I need a few other things here. Let's see. Let's get a couple of these. And some furnaces. Alright, I have a little bit of coal block here to finish this area up. There. Now, starting along in here is going to be the wall that separates the dining area from the kitchen area. I need to work out putting some more tables in, probably some of the smaller ones. And maybe a countertop or something like that. Still haven't figured what I'm going to use for a wall here or for kitchen flooring, although kitchen flooring, hmm. I don't know, maybe just iron block all the way through. I'm not certain. Kitchen flooring would be plain. And, uh, I don't know, we'll see. In the meantime, I'm just going to throw some cobblestone up here just to separate them. Just to separate the two areas so that I can know where I'm working and keep things separate in my mind and a little bit visually. I'll replace this cobble with something more appropriate later on. Like for example, one thing is that uh, somewhere along in here, probably about here, there'll be an opening in here now, this would be where uh, orders are hung up and uh, where they would be delivered from the cook to waitress, who is then going to take it out to the slavering masses. Anyway, so let's see. Let's use some iron block countertops. such like and whatnot. And 
we can put like for example in here cauldrons and okay so we've got kitchen sinks so to speak uh let's see no we don't have countertop in front of this in fact that should be countertop there that's better all right uh let's see All right, let's just start figuring out where this stuff is going to be. We got this wall here, so we might as well use it. And say... Stove tops, perhaps? No. No. Let me try something else. I think I've got some redstone over here. Yeah, all right. Do I have any gold over here? I bet you I don't. That's okay. That's all right. There's plenty of gold over there. I'm going to get some of it. All right. This is, believe it or not, the third time I've tried to record this particular segment. Because, as I had explained in the segment that has now been lost... I'm having some computer difficulties. And it's getting worse all the time. Okay, I've gotten a little bit of the kitchen stuff started. I've settled on a stone brick floor. I've got some furnaces with powered rails on them. And underneath one of them, there's a lever to power the arrangement so that it can take on the appearance of uh, lit burners or something, you know, powered electric burners and so on over here. Iron blocks with iron doors to serve as freezers. I should probably make something larger for a walk-in freezer. Cauldrons and so on for sinks. And it's progressing. We've got the opening in the wall here for orders to be delivered and so on. And such like. And now the wall is not supposed to remain cobble. It's That's just a placeholder until I figure out what to make it later. Uh, but anyway, about the computer problems. I'm having this really infuriating problem where I am subject to pretty much almost random lockups. And these lockups are pretty bad. When it happens, I may or may not be able to continue what I was doing before. In this case, uh, I had a segment about eight or nine minutes long that was lost because the video file was damaged when everything locked up and crashed. So, here I am going for a re-record, trying to explain what's going on here. And uh, so on. Basically, one of the things I was talking about was the fact that I have decided, for the time being at least try to make things a little easier to actually get videos made is I'm going to aim for shorter videos this way I can have a better chance of getting something made without necessarily taking all day and all night to just put together 30 minutes worth of usable footage and so I'm gonna go ahead with for the time being, 15 to 20 minute long videos. I figure on the upside of that is that 
probably more people will be more inclined to watch when they see the video isn't as long. I don't know. But for the most part, it's because it's getting really frustrating to make the longer videos that I would like to be making. So, there you go. Uh, anyway, it, it's kind of frustrating trying to do stuff when things like that are happening, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I have run every malware scan or system integrity scan of various kinds. Check disk has run uh, innumerable times, both the regular one that Windows will schedule by itself occasionally and explicit scans that I have set up running all the options and doing the long four and a half to five hour scan. I've run MemTest. That's another one that can do a five-hour scan. And uh, System Checker, whatever it is. You know, the one that checks the integrity of system modules to make sure that everything is there that it's supposed to be. And it is. No damaged files or anything like that. I keep Windows updated. Uh, I keep Windows Defender updated, you know, the whole nine yards, and so on. I have utilities that monitor the temperature of the GPU and the CPU, and those are all within normal operating range. Nothing is overheating. Uh... As far as I can tell, based on assorted diagnostics, the memory in the system is perfectly good. And not a whole lot of it, because uh, I did have 6 gigabytes, but the 2 gigabyte memory sticks that I had been using uh, no longer work, as in the system won't even start up with them plugged in so I know they're bad but as to what exactly is causing the problem I haven't got a clue I am totally and completely without a clue about this and it's driving me buggy it really is difficult to diagnose something when there doesn't seem to be anything that will show hey this is wrong And, uh, I don't know. It's not that I'm not very knowledgeable. I'm not, like, some kind of a major league guru or anything. But I've owned computers in one form or another since 1985. And in those years, you learn a little bit once in a while. And, uh... Hmm. So, while I'm a long way from any kind of a guru, I do know a few things here and there. And I've run every kind of test and scan that I know about, or some that I've only read about, because I hadn't had a need to run them before now. But, nothing is turning up in such a way as to say, hey, this is the problem. So, I don't know what the problem can be, and until I do figure it out, I'm going to have to just try to make shorter videos, shorter segments, and so on. Just so that I can get stuff done and uh, go from there.
Uh, I don't and to like finally figure out what the problem is or by some miracle come up with some way to say, hey, I'm going to buy a new computer. Although I don't see that happening anytime in the foreseeable future. I'll have to get a couple more iron doors in there. All right. Well, this place is starting to take shape. The kitchen area back here needs more work. It needs storage areas, shelving and whatnot. Uh, we've got refrigerators here. I'm going to have to work out, put in some kind of walk-in freezers, at least two of them. More shelving, more counter space for food prep areas and stuff like that. And so on. Then finish out working out that floor, too. And then, of course, I've got to get lighting in here and lighting out here. Now, out here, perhaps I can do some kind of uh, chandelier kind of thing with uh, glowstone or perhaps the uh, redstone lamps. I'm not sure just yet, but something like that. But the restaurant is beginning to take shape in spite of the difficulties I'm having. Uh, I don't know really what to say about what the difficulty is. I have noticed one thing in that, uh, well, no, actually, uh, there is one thing. I don't believe this happens near as often when I'm not recording. Exactly why that is, I can't begin to tell you, but there you go. There doesn't seem to be a reason for it in any way, shape, or form, but it doesn't seem to be happening when I'm not recording. I thought I had some slabs. Uh, so, but it's still happening quite frequently. Just not quite as much frequently as when I'm not when you know when I'm not recording. So, what that's all about, I haven't got a clue. So, I'm going to do a little bit more with this off camera, and then. Uh, come back tomorrow with another update on what's going on and see how much more stuff we can get to go get going because not only do I need to finish up with this restaurant but there's a matter of some farms uh, sheep farm pig and cow farms chicken farms and whatnot that I need to get built over there automated melon and pumpkin farms and wheat farms and such and stuff and things and such like and whatnot and so on and so forth. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording before it crashes on me again. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.